We got the fruit stall outside the station and we were putting it out. Then, as I turned around, the police were running past with their guns, and I went back and said to Jill, the other lady, um, Oh my god, it's, you know, the police with the guns, and because she panicked a bit. But, but, and then um, the, we were sort of more or less told to move from there, and that's what we did. And we, and all the people were coming out the station, obviously, distraught, you know, really ashen faced, really, really shaken. So prior to the police running in, what did you see? No, nothing. We never saw anybody running in there. We didn't see what they were doing. We just see the, the police with the guns. And we just assumed, you know, obviously there's bombs busy, again. Yeah, they yeah are, they're in the morning, we're well, backwards and forwards all the time. We're not actually no, sort of concentrating on anybody. We saw the police running in with guns who were saying, move, move, move. So we were really frightened. So we stood back into the flower shed and then this young lady came out of the station, a blonde glamorous looking lady who was obviously on her way to work who was really upset her legs were like jelly so we turned the bucket upside down and sat her down and she said that she'd been on the tube and her, the gunshots had been close to her and then we were just told to move straight away after that so we just said to her are you okay and she said she was going home